Hello, Corey Salzano here, creator of Inventory Presser, a car dealership WordPress plugin. I'm going to see how quickly I can get vehicles to display on the front end of a blank WordPress website using Elementor free version. On plugins, you can see I've got Elementor and Inventory Presser both active. Under my Appearance tab, I'm running the Hello Elementor theme. So step one, let's get some sample vehicles. We'll go to Vehicles, Options, and we'll hit the Load Sample Vehicles button. This takes a couple minutes, so I'm going to start working in another tab to set permalinks. I'll go to Settings, Permalinks. And we want anything but plain, so I'm going to choose Post Name and hit Save Changes. Let's go right now to my website slash inventory to see what's happening with that vehicle import. Okay, we've got some data here, but we see only text and it's all running together. The view details isn't a link. This is what happens when your theme has show excerpts in archives instead of full post content. And what we'll find is that the hello element or theme doesn't allow us to show post content search results or archives. And so I've created a child theme. I'm going to activate Hello Elementor Child. You can get this child theme if you go to inventorypressor.com, look for documentation, and choose the Elementor setup guide. Let's try that front end again. OK, we've got it. Here are the vehicle default templates in the archive. And if I choose a vehicle, here's the single template. You can see we got a slider, we've got the vehicle attribute table, we've got the vehicle description in long form, there's a YouTube video embed, and there's an options list. And this is the best we can do with Elementor free version. We can't change this template. This is the default template that I provide inside the Inventory Presser plugin. Same thing with the archive page. You won't be able to edit what's here beyond using CSS and JavaScript. These are the default templates. If you want to customize the look of the archives and the look of the single vehicle page, we'll have to use Elementor's Theme Builder, and that is a pro feature. I'll talk about that in another video. All right, have fun out there.